Hi, my name is Cameron. I'm 14 years old. I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada. I can shove it, ollie, and front side 180, and I'm trying to learn my kickflips. Hey man, so thanks a lot for sending in your video. I really do appreciate it. Nice front side 180. You had good pop, good rotation. You made it around. It was good. Pop shove it. I like it. Good. Let's see. Uh, front shove. Nope. Ollie. What do we got next? Backside 180. Oh, going to the park. Nice. Good. That was good. That shows me that you're riding. You're comfortable riding the board. My foot positioning is just like this. All my kick flips. Now it's time for the kick flips. I'm having trouble landing my front foot on the front part of the board. I'm always landing with my just my back foot. So hopefully you can help me with that. Okay, cool. So the first thing is with your front foot. Your front foot is really, really far on the board. Actually, your front foot is too far on the board. I would take it off a little bit, just a little bit more towards the side. With my foot position, I have my front foot about at the middle of those bolts. Now, the next thing we got going on here, and this is, again, it's the most common thing. Watch your front foot. Watch which direction it goes. Boom. Straight down. Your front foot goes straight down into the ground. This is tricky. Honestly, you probably, unless you actually watched your own video and put it in slow-mo, you probably didn't even notice that you were doing this. And you think to yourself, gosh, I'm so close to landing this trick. I can flip it really well. I land it with my back foot and on every try. All I got to do is get my front foot on there. And that's true. All you got to do is get your front foot on there. We have to change your front foot flick though in order to get that on there and the hard part about this honestly is that you've been practicing it incorrectly for so long which makes it so hard to change sometimes you see this motion I'm doing right there I'm flicking my toe up and off the nose of the skateboard that is what you need to do you never flick down never 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 flick down boop boop always flick up and off the nose with your toe just dragging straight up and then just snap flicking right off the board right off the front of the nose and that's what actually gives you that perfect flick it makes the board go spinning right up into your back foot at which point your back foot catches it and then the board is right underneath you so you can just put your front foot back on but notice that at no time did my front foot ever flick down at all it was above the board the whole time so Actually, what I want you to do is I want you to practice stepping off on purpose with your back foot and practice flicking with your front foot and keeping your board, keeping your foot above the board the whole time. Your front foot should never, never go down, never go below the board. Because you have to think about, like, if you popped up into the air, then pushed your front foot down, now your front foot is below the board, and it, somehow you're going to have to bring it back up around on top of the board and then actually be able to land it. I have seen people do that, but man, it's that's just like your front foot is just going straight down to the ground. So why would you do that? It looks incorrect and it just doesn't really work. So yeah, you have to work out that front foot flick. Um, these shots are really good right here because it just shows nice and slow-mo. You can watch my front foot drag up the board and then you'll see my ankle snap right there. That ankle snap of me like kicking out and it's a flick. It's like a fast movement that projects the skateboard right there. You can see my ankle just pop, pop. So work on dragging that toe and work on popping that ankle. And then again, yeah, just practice stepping off with your back foot and keeping your front foot above the board the whole time. Once you've really, really got that step down, you will just get it. If you get that flick down and you can keep your front foot above it, your board is flipping underneath you, you're jumping, no problems there. It's just that flick. That's the only thing that you need to work out. Cool. So the other thing that I just wanted to mention real fast, you probably know the sequence, but it is ollie, front side 180, back side 180, pop shove, front shove, heel flip, then kick flip. If you're going to skip any of those, you could skip the heel flip. You don't necessarily have to learn the heel flip. You don't necessarily have to learn all of those. But I highly, 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 highly suggest going in the proper order and learning all of them. 
Skateboarding Made Simple is available on BrailleSkateboarding.com as a digital download and on iTunes. So you can get it at either of those places. And yeah, just get it. It will be awesome. You'll love it. I know it. Thanks a lot for your help and support. You guys are the best.